Welcome back to the special edition of Black Enterprise Business Report. It appears that any company that pairs up with President Obama's star power likely won't fail, or at least companies hope so. Here's our Entrepreneur of the Week with Shannon Lanier. Sean, our Entrepreneur of the Week, found a way to take the president's image, legacy, and public persona and translate it into a profitable entity. The Barack DeVolt shirts were a crowd favorite on President Obama's campaign trail. And like many businesses, it all started with a great idea. We saw a little old lady in the crowd carrying a sign that said Barack DeVolt. It was a handwritten sign. And I immediately thought, wow, how cool would it be if we actually used that slogan with that old Rock the Vote logo from the 90s. With stylish design help from his younger sister, Brandon and L'Oreal Broussard started Barack Aware Inc. just a week after it was only a concept. Striking while the iron is hot is it's the scariest thing. I mean, but that is business. It's a risk. Everything you do is a risk. And I think the most important lesson is that we feel it in our gut. Like, you have to go with that gut. And there's fear there, but you have to go with how you, you feel about it. I think the, the thing that struck the most fear in us was when we actually decided to leave our job. We were both making good money. And then it was like, let's leave our jobs, let's move to Los Angeles in a much more expensive apartment and have everything based on the success of this company. He hadn't won the primaries yet. He was still fighting against Hillary. The Reverend Wright thing came out. So it was absolutely scary not knowing what was gonna happen. But I think if you don't fear it, it's not worth it. It was that same fear of uncertainty that made investors run from their idea, causing the Broussards to use every penny of their personal savings and a $3,000 gift from mom and dad to get their company off the ground. Whether we got it back or not, it wasn't important, but we believed in them. They have a lot of follow through and self-esteem and, and believing in themselves. And that's what I tell so many people. They're just like, I have this idea, or I want to start my own company, or I want to do this. And I'm like, just do it. You know, you can't be afraid of if you're going to fail or succeed. If you're afraid, then you're not going to ever, you know, succeed. So that's, the fear is there, and I think that fear is kind of also what pushes us to keep it going. Our company was totally internet-based. I mean, we sold 99% of our shirts through the internet, and I think our success came from that email and internet marketing. Besides growing an email advertising list of over 50,000 customers, a little star power never hurts. Barack played a huge part in everything that we did. I mean, why our sales went up. Every time he won a primary, you, our sales went crazy, like on the website. At the height of the election, Barack Aware Inc. was selling 5,000 shirts a day. Last year's revenues reached $800,000 and are expected to rise to $1 million in 2009. An accomplishment that landed them on the January cover of Black Enterprise Magazine as the next generation of entrepreneurs called BE Next. So being that your whole company was based off of the election, now that Barack is actually president, how will your company survive? Well, we're actually expanding our brand into another t-shirt line. We're doing non-political graphic tees called Yo Town. And it's based off an old Motown logo that basically is a map of, um, it's a 45 record with a map of Detroit, but we're just changing the cities, so it's going to be your town so people can rep their cities. It's hard and it's, uh, it's scary because the thing with Barack Obama is we had success because of him and now we're doing something that is totally based on our ingenuity and our success or failure. What we did with Barack the Vote worked because of the way we ran our company, because it was an internet based company, because of the way we advertised. So we're going to use the exact same formula for Barack the Vote with Yotown. Their parents couldn't be happier with their success and as the shirt says, Yes! Yes we did! <laughs> yes we did. Yes they did. Thanks Shannon.